Five reasons why you shouldn't have any excuses about being underleveled or poor as a support. Hey guys, it's Roro, and welcome to Simply Dota. Today I'd like to talk about five reasons why you should have no reason to ever be broke as a support. A lot of people have this notion in their head that a support should be poor, but that's just wrong. Even professional players to some extent still have this misconceived idea in their head that supports don't deserve farm, although the presence of this idea is not nearly as bad as it was a year or two ago. If you look at some of today's greatest support players, you'll realize that they're support players that are very, very greedy, almost like additional fourth cores. Two to come to mind almost immediately would be Zai and Aoi2000. The point of this video is to show you and to teach you that there's really no reason you should be poor aside from, you know, extreme circumstances. Maybe you, it's 40 kills for the enemy team and you have zero or something like that. There's no reason you should have, you know, a boot and maybe a stick if you're lucky by 15 minutes, or even getting your level 6 by 13 minutes. There's tons of mechanics in Dota 2 that we can use to our advantage to get adequate amounts of farm. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump in. Alright, number 1, Ticking Gold. Now this one is just ridiculous when you think about it. A few revisions ago, and by a few I mean a lot, Ticking Gold was buffed. Now think about it like this, it's Lord Gaben himself saying, Don't die and you can be rich. Literally. Here's a small demonstration. I sat in fountain, not near any gold AoE, no towers were being taken, I have no last hits, and I bought courier, wards, and some consumables. It took me about 19 minutes to get money for a Midas, just by taking gold. Mech and Midas are relatively similar in cost, so if you're not a greedy bastard like me, what this video means for you is that if you don't die at the absolute very minimum, you will have a mech by around 19 minutes. Now think about if you don't die, and you get a few last hits here and there, and you're in the AoE for a few assist gold kills, and maybe you get yourself like first blood. Now you have like a freaking 13 minute mech or something. Number two, bounty runes. Now you might be saying, wow Roro, row, row, 50 gold isn't a big deal. And to that I'd apply, shut up noob. Bounty runes are really, really good for supports. They give you an amount of gold that scales based on the time of the game, and experience that scales based on the time of the game. A few of these can really, really add up, especially in regards to experience. They can get you to that level 6 so much faster. Numero 3, which is French for number 3. Advanced pulling. This is something I don't see used nearly enough. Double pulling, triple pulling, quadruple pulling, quintuple pulling, sextuple pulling, septuple pulling, tuple. Basically, this isn't pulling at all. It's literally farming the jungle as a support with creeps tanking for you. However, at the same time, you're still denying the offlane XP, which is awesome. Take a look at this clip. I'm playing as Dazzle. I'm doing a lot of different pulls. I think I get up to like quintu quintuple pull or something. And I have a crap load of XP as well as farm. I'm going to end up with like a 13 or 14 minute mech or something really, really awesome like that. And I haven't even been involved in any kills at all. The best part about this is that you can quickly rotate between the jungle farming like this into lane to gank the off lane get a kill just like that i just snapped my fingers by the way unfortunately this type of pulling and farming is kind of exclusive to the radiant side so that's a bummer but you can still do it if you're on the radiant side because i mean someone somewhere is going to be on the radiant side right every single game at least so if you don't know how to do chain pulling like this check out the simply dota youtube channel uh i think it's one of the earlier videos we had it's like there's a thumbnail on it that has a satyr and a bit like text under it this is how to triple pull a support anyways this next one's really simple teleport scroll tp scroll whatever you want to call it all right it's 100 gold now it was 35 before what is that it's like tw 20 28 percent cheaper than it was before all right, it's awesome, and at the top it off, you don't even have to use them, right? I mean, you should, but what I'm saying is, if you want to get to a lane, you can just walk there. I see people just teleporting to lanes when there's no reason to. There's no creeps at your tower, so you're not even in range for XP. Just walk there, man. You're saving yourself 100 gold that way. This one's number five, because the last one was number four. I forgot to tell you guys, by the way. Anyways, this one is AOE. Want to know the secret to winning games of support? All right, it's not kill stealing. It's not doing any of that. If you see a kill happening, you get into the 1300 AoE of it, so you get yourself experience in gold. I'm telling you right now, that is literally the secret to winning a support, alright? This will make you absolutely filthy rich, alright? 
make sure you get into the 1300 AoE of a kill because there's a Cisco that's spread amongst everyone which is within this AoE, right? You get experience and gold too. So make sure you get into this AoE, all right? It's really, really, really important. Anyways, that's five reasons why you should never find yourself broke as a support. Maybe I shouldn't say never because someone will find themselves broke one point and then be like, hey, you said never. Baby. Bottom line is, unless you're in extremely dire circumstances, you should, if you follow these five tips, you should not be able to find yourself broke. All right, like super poor. Hey everyone, it's Roro. Just wanted to say thank you for watching. Remember that Simply Dota covers tons of different topics. Map awareness, winning your lane, kill potential, controlling aggression, preventing tunnel vision, etc, etc. So with that being said, regardless of what video you're coming from, remember to check out some of the other Simply Dota videos and series. Is, 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 is. Currently our two series that are being featured are Efficiency Labs and Versus, so make sure you check them out and I'll see you next time.